it is uh, Tati Chamundeshri uh, Didi. She is a senior lecturer in electronics and communication engineering in at uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Government Polytechnic, Tabnathpur, Hyderabad. Didi completed her UHU introductory workshop in May 2022, and she attended it again in December 2022. And then she attended UHU uh, 2 in May 2023, and she has been volunteering in many activities like registration, FAQ from January 2023 in uh, faculty development programs online in English and Hindi, and also in students development program. She's also attending the regular meetings in uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So with this, I welcome Didi to give her sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you for the introduction. Namaste, Sharmila Didi. Namaste to all my co-explorers. Co As Sunil Bhaiya has already said, uh, my name is Chamundeshwari. Uh, in addition to that, I would like to say that uh, I'm living in Hyderabad along with my husband and two children. My husband is also an electronics and communication engineer who has rendered his government service as lecturer in the same department and got retired in 2019. Uh, my elder son uh, is pursuing PhD at Georgia Tech University of Atlanta in the field of VLSI. My daughter, uh, who is an younger one, has uh, recently completed her MBBS and is now uh, preparing for the NEET PG exam. With this introduction, I would like to first uh, tell how I was attracted towards UHV. From 2020 onwards, number of males used to come to the principal sir regarding the UHV. Once I happened to see the mail, uh, I asked principal, sir, sir, can I join this UHV? He said, it is not mandatory, but if you are interested, you can do it. Once I joined the UHV, the three key take, um, main points which attracted me a lot were, first, always in the sessions, the questions asked were, were you happy always? And that too in continuity. This question triggered me a lot. I, so I was very uh, enthusiastic. I was uh, really trying to know what these things are. The second question which triggered me a lot was, you yourself are responsible for your happiness or unhappiness and nothing outside or the other is responsible. Because right from the beginning, I was thinking that my happiness always lies in the other things. When this point was told in the session, it triggered me a lot. So I was still more trying to uh, explore the things. The third uh, concept which uh, triggered me a lot is the coexistence with the nature and that all the units are submerged in space. This also I was thinking a lot. Right from the childhood, I was very much interested in nature. Right from childhood, I was doing a lot of gardening work. I always liked to be in the garden to work with the plants and all. So this also triggered me a lot. I could understand some of the concepts in the introductory section, uh, session, but as all these points were still not clear to me. So in the, uh, in the same year, in December, when we had some holidays, I requested principal, sir. He said, on duty leave cannot be given, but if you are interested, you can apply for leave and do it. So I was uh, really struggling with all these. So I thought it's better I'll do it once again. And I did, did the same course again in December. Next in May 2023, when we were having holidays, I wanted to explore some more things. I could understand some things, but still the things were going on in my mind. So I thought of registering for UHV2 and done the UHV2 also. So after doing all these uh, things, I could get some of the things and I was trying to explore myself. But then I came to know about the morning sessions. So now in the morning sessions, I have started realizing, observing the things and trying to put the steps also into practice. Of course, not all the steps always, but at least I'm trying to do up to some extent. Now coming to the exercise one, that is observing the self by the self, 
step one is be aware of the desires thoughts and that are going on in the imagination yet yes now i am able to observe the desires and thoughts that are going on of course not always but at the starting i could observe them only when i was sitting calm at one place but now slowly i am able to become aware of these thoughts and desires while i am also doing the routine work step 2 is uh, is the feeling that you have at this moment naturally acceptable to you and are you harmony in the feeling yes sometimes uh, very rarely i am able to see that i am in harmony but most of the time i am able to observe that i am having some form of discomfort and disturbance which i don't want to continue uh, re- uh, actually when uh, before these morning sessions i even didn't know as to what is this discomfort what is this disturbance how it, what is this that is happening to me and all but now slowly i am able to uh, relate to the terms the concepts which are being told in uh, these morning sessions and i am able to see that when i am in harmony all the things going around me i feel are according to me and i am able to work efficiently and for for more time happily when i am disturbed within the feelings are getting carried sometimes for days together also previously also this used to happen but i never used to observe and i never used to notice also that uh, such type of things also exist with us so for this here i would like to uh, quote one example previously whenever there was an argument with my husband we both um, stopped talking to each other at least for um, uh, frankly speaking 2 to 3 days and our children used to be the mediators for us uh, for 2 2 to 3 days they also could observe that something is happening between these people so whenever uh, the argument was the same type of argument i used to have with my son or daughter when they were in 9th class or 10th class at that time as they were um, big enough immediately they could tell me uh, they also used to stop talking to me i used to feel very depressed disturbed and ask them what is this how can you do this to me i am your mother you should not stop talking to me and all then they immediately the answer came from them is you have stopped talking to father from one or two days i have seen that now you are telling to me at that time i realized that it was a mistake but i didn't know how to get out of this so now after these morning sessions actually i have come to know what is the situation that has happened how it has uh, affected my children and how i am responsible for all these situations and after these sessions i frankly say that um, the gap of the distance between us has come down from days to few minutes and sometimes few hours and uh, with my children when they are able to see this Uh, nowadays almost they never stop talking to me at any instant of time and i am able to be very really very happy with my children there is no conflict between um, my children and me and uh, of course i'm with my husband i am trying but i cannot say it has become nil but my uh, children are very happy they are sharing everything everything with me now i am not able to see the back answers from them regarding the step 4 who decided the feeling you or someone else situation outside now i am able to see that i myself am deciding the feelings uh, here also i would like to say that previously i used to analyze the moment and came to a conclusion that the other person or the outside situation is responsible for the feelings i am having and i am always right so if i am going through all this 
it is because of the other person or the situation that is lying around me but i used to feel that i am always right without actually looking in into my inner self or the feeling saying that now whatever has be is being told so um, the the example which i have given before just i would like to go back to that one once again and uh, tell that whenever we used to have an argument um previously i mean to say when my children were kids there were very less arguments because we uh, both are working we both used to be busy with our works and whenever i had time i used to spend most of the time with my children taking care of them uh, giving the proper guidance and all might be the guidance which i gave was not with uh, these type of understandings and all but because of the uh, you can say some scars or before because of the education whatever it is because of that we didn't have much of the arguments everything was very much um, suitable for us so there were no discussions no arguments much of the arguments but now as the children were going growing up there were so many things that has to be uh, decided taking decisions uh, which led to the conflicts in the um, house um, between me between my children and all uh, so at that time every time whenever the discussion or argument goes we try to prove that i am right and he also always tried to prove that he was right the children who were listening to the discussions they were also transparently involved in the uh, discussions uh, they used to sell uh, they used to feel that both mother and father are equally educated are equally working why such type of arguments are taking place Uh, they used to feel disturbed sometimes they used to support me sometimes they used to support their father whenever they used to support uh, me um, my husband used to get irritated he used to say you people are always supporting your mother he used to have some type of feeling i don't know why but my children most of the cases they used to support me uh, i don't know whether they i was right or he was right at that instance but somehow the arguments were in, were very less but now after his retirement uh, he is at home uh, and i am still working so now recently i have started feeling that from four or five years so there are many conflicts many arguments for each and everything right from the morning we get up um so i used to feel very disturbed after attending these morning sessions i really feel happy to share that now i have really understood what is life and how i have wasted my life so much of time in such type of wasteful arguments without living happily so when we he, we used to stop talking my children also were getting disturbed actually so they used to ask me what is this why you people have got married you should not have done that then slowly somehow i could get over the things of course not with proper understanding i used to console them somehow they are in now good position they are able to understand the things so now after these morning sessions my husband is not sh shouting at all so i told him you have changed a lot the other day when we were sitting in the evening i told him you have changed a lot he said uh, directly he said i am the same one i have not changed but i am able to see that your behavior has changed so very honestly of course i am not able to stop my emotions i am able to say that i am very happy now 
thanks for the entire UHV team who made me realize the importance of life. Now, coming to step number five, on what basis did you decide the feeling at that moment based on understanding or assumption? I realized that the feeling must be based on understanding and I'm trying for it. Previously, also, I used to try to solve these situations, but without a proper understanding, I just used to try to um, get out of these situations managing the things with whatever I have learned, with whatever knowledge I'm having. But I really didn't have the proper understanding. Uh, whether we are trying to do the things on the understanding or assumption, here also, uh, after um, trying to understand all these steps also, day, for, day before yesterday, uh, my husband asked me when I came in the evening back from the college, he told I want to have your bank statement. I didn't tell anything. I just looked at him. Uh, then um, he said, do you have any problem? Uh, I said, no, it's all right. But just I wanted to know why suddenly uh, you are asking me this. Then he said, actually, we have a driver with us. Mm. I go to the college in the vehicle. Um, my husband only arranged for the driver and everything, keeping in mind my health point of view. The a person um, sometimes keep asking for loans, uh, sometimes take um, some money in advance and all. So whatever such type of transactions are there, he has he will be asking my uh, husband only. And uh, uh, the payment and all is done online uh, through my bank account. So I, uh, he said, I just want to look whatever has happened so that because he was asking for some other huge amount. I don't know. I, did, I knew very well that um, my husband, right from the time of marriage, we may have arguments related to the other type of things. But regarding the financial matter, he never questions me. He never asks me. And whatever I want also, I'll ask him only. All that was very fine. But I don't know why. When he asked that, I said, okay, I'll write all the transactions that had been made by me to the driver on, and write it on a paper and give you. He said, um, okay, you're having problem to give the bank statement. Okay, fine. I don't want the bank statement. You keep it with you. And he went away from that room. For a moment, I thought. Immediately, I went and told. Um, I'm sorry, I, I, it was not my intention not to give. Uh, but uh, okay. Anyhow, I was doing some other work on the laptop. So I thought in that way. Okay, I'll give it right now. So immediately I took out the printout of the bank statement and gave it to him. My daughter also was sitting there along with me. She was uh, studying for that PG something. She was uh, noticing all this. Previously, when such type of um, just one, even one or two sentence of conflict, she sees between us immediately. The she used to interrupt, but this time she did not interrupt. She was just noticing that I took out the bank statement and gave to him. He, he went away to the other room. Then my daughter asked me, Amma, you know that father will never ask. Now she is 25 years old. You know that even I also know that father never objects for any of the expenses we do. He never asks about the financial de uh, dealings. You people will be ha having arguments only related with your children, but not this. Why did you hesitate to give it to him? For a moment, I didn't know what to answer. Why I hesitated, I myself didn't know. Actually, the thing was, when he wanted the things, I thought, of, I'll write only those transactions on a paper and give. Why to give the bank statement? Bank statement was my opinion. Then I could see that I was in 
some assumption i don't know what what happened to me at that instant now i'm thinking i should correct all such type of things then my daughter said see i'll go and see what father is doing with that statement to my surprise uh, i really after uh, she went she went she was standing there my husband told um you want to know what i'm doing with this you call your mother also i'll show her also she was he was he took a lighter highlighter pen and was marking all the transactions that we had made to the driver that is how much of amount uh, loans he has taken how many times he has repaid it how many times we have deducted the amount and all that and finally he had written it on the paper and said see this is the amount which he has to still repay to us now as he was asking for some amount to pay the fees to the children i actually wanted to know how much of amount he is we have to give him and whether it is right or not that is why i asked this statement uh, at that time i really felt very sorry uh, immediately i told sorry to him then my daughter told see you have changed now that is why this situation which happened now did not be carried over within a few minutes it has been settled am i am really very happy now as you have changed i am looking forward for the changes in father also so i wanted to share this so actually it was a very small thing there was nothing but i don't know it was lack of communication or lack of understanding or some assumptions and all so now i am able to uh, handle the situation with the right understanding and try to come over all these small small things which were which were there from the time i started the morning sessions i am very happy of course now because i have wasted so much of time of my life i am unable to stop these emotions next coming to the uh, step 6 and 7 ensuring the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence of course i know that to we are coexisting in nature along with the nature i am very fond of nature also feeling of relationship feeling of relationship with others i always um, like to have like to have company of all the people i never uh, differentiate the people with reference to the gender or with reference to what is uh, this religion and all but what is actually relation i could really understand after i have joined this morning sessions previously my son and daughter they they used to ask me um because nowadays uh, this online work is going on most of their uh, uh, friends are um, software engineers so they sometimes they have to come to hyderabad to stay for 2 to 3 days previously they used to ask me amma i want to know whether i can permit my friend to stay here for 2 or 3 days immediately i would say yes i don't have any problem then they were used to feel very happy they used to say amma i have seen so many uh, of my uh, friends where the parents are very rigid they don't allow and all you are so broad minded they used to tell but now i have seen um, i have actually come to know how i have changed my behavior so recently one of my daughter daughter's friend she came to our house she stayed for 3 days i don't know whether because of my proper understanding i have changed my behavior with her um 
the only thing I can say is after three days, when she was going back, uh, she had uh, the bus at 10.30. I was leaving for the college at 9 a.m. I made the breakfast, everything. I told her, you have um, everything is ready for you because it was holiday for you. I didn't want to disturb you. My daughter also has already left to uh, the PG classes. Uh, so I told her, okay, bye, take care. As soon as you get into the bus and reach me, you call me or you call your friend and tell me. Immediately she was sitting there. She came running and told, auntie, one second. I waited for her. She came running. She um, touched my feet and told, thank you, auntie, for everything. I told, what happened? Her name was Kirtana. What happened, Kirtana? Why you are becoming so emotional? She said, Auntie, I, you deserve this. Because I have seen my own mother putting so many restrictions on me. But these three days I have stayed in your house. I was so happy. I, I felt very much free to stay in your house rather than my house. Thank you, auntie, for everything. And she started crying. So I wanted to share this thing. So I can very confidently say that previously also I used to entertain my kids, um, friends in the house, relations, outsiders and all. But there was some opposition in me, I think, due to which uh, they could not um, uh, or I I used to feel happy but I didn't know but actually what is the relation how we should behave and all now only I'm able to see uh, so I also felt very happy when her friend told then her friend uh, rang up to my daughter and told um, when auntie was going back to college you were not there uh, the, all this happened. I don't know why I have been coming to your house from so many times. But this time I felt um, some change in auntie. I don't know. But I'm very free with her than my mother. My daughter also felt very happy. She said, now my daughter is able to discuss all the things with me. Previously, whenever I used to tell the word marriage, she used to shout at me. Why? What is the use of getting married? I have seen you. What you, you are not happy at all. Always doing this thing, always doing that thing. Then I used to somehow console her saying that all this happens in life um, and everything. But somehow she was not convinced. But now today, uh, I'm very happy to say that from about 10 days back, whenever I just put a proposal for marriage, she says, she's saying, Amma, first let me get into this PG. Then I'll tell you, I don't have any affairs right now. I don't have anything. Whenever I ask you to look for matches, you can go ahead. Don't worry, I'll get married. This is the great achievement I feel I have got through these morning sessions. Step two, exercise two, when we say observing the self and body and interaction between them in space, I'm able to see that I am there and my body also exists. I'm also able to see that there is exchange of information between the self and the body and whenever it is required, it happens. Truly speaking, Apart from these two steps, I am not able to see much of the things. Once in the morning session, I never used to ask any doubts. Only once when the step was going on exercise, I asked Didi, I am not in the sensation. How can I? I tried to do it. But till today also, very frankly, I am able to say, I am not able to. I know that I am not in the sensation. But how I cannot be in the sensation that I am not able to realize it uh, till today also. 
um, yesterday the, the, for, four, four to five days back uh, I actually am suffering from arthritis and gout also uh, I was having a lot of pain in my leg uh, when I have gone through all these sessions I know that it is the pain is there in the leg and it is not in me I should not get suffered by that it is external I I was doing all my work my daughter told me, you apply for leave why you want to go with this pain to the college. I said, no, the students are having exams. Uh, these are the last days, so I have to go. Uh, and I went, I did everything. Then yesterday when I came back, I had a lab exam the whole day. I was busy with the exam. In the evening, uh, even though at that time also I had pain, I did not feel much of the pain. Then from the evening, there was a lot of pain. I was trying to think how this is told in this session. Why I am not able to see that I am not in this sensation. Why I always am thinking of that and all. Somehow I think I have to explore all the other steps of exercise uh, too much. Uh, for which I think I will have to undergo these sessions once again. Now coming to the samskars which were told in the last step. That I could explore. And I have noted down some of the samskars which I have got deep rooted. So I would like to share some of the samskars. Um, if I am not running out of time and if Didi and um, Bhaiya permits me, I would like to share this or else I will go to my commitment, please. Didi, you can go ahead. Uh, five minutes. Okay. Thank you, Bhaiya. Whenever there was a disturbance with, within me, even though I don't react outside, might be because of the, um, as a, I told, I have a sanskar right from the beginning, from the childhood. I never used to back answer to my parents, to my teachers, to my after marriage, even in loss, even husband. So, but I used to get disturbed inside. Slowly what happened was to avoid this disturbance, I started murmuring within me. I used to murmur within me for 5 to 10 minutes. Somehow I stopped. I don't know why. I used to get normal that time. Now, when these uh, in these sessions, it was uh, I realized that doing this is also... Uh, a reaction, an opposition which we are having to the situation or to the person or whatever it is and this may also um, cause disturbance unhappiness within us we should not continue like that we should change uh, we should uh, think over things we should then um, try to come out of this so now uh, after doing, trying to do all this now the murmuring, I have seen that I have stopped murmuring. And whenever um, there is a disturbance, nowadays my husband knows that I murmur always. Sometimes he says, why you always murmur like this? Can't you keep quiet? I, that also in a shouting voice he used to tell. So now he, the other day he was said, um, he was saying, nowadays I'm not able to see that you are murmuring which has reduced the irritation in me. So I'm happy for that also. The other sanskar which I can see is whenever I used to get disturbed, other than murmuring, when the disturbance was to such an extent, what I used to do is, I used to show the anger on the things that are lying around me for example, whenever I wash the utensils in the kitchen, if I am disturbed, if I am having some, some, I don't know, some type of disturbance within me, the way of washing the utensils would be different. A lot of sound, a lot of noise would be coming out, which my children, husband, everyone notice. 
then they say yes, something is going on especially my son he always says whenever mother is washing the utensils or sweeping the house we should not talk to her at that time when these statements were passed from my son right from uh, his uh, let us say now of course he is uh, at the age of 26 he is working everything even from uh, when he was in inter and all also he used to pass these statements i i did not think about it much but now i am able to see that um, yes really i was disturbed at those moments so previously whatever things happened i used to show all the anger on these things and that i could not feel but the children could feel so now i have come to know actually that this is the inner reaction which was there in me and it will affect my health only after realizing this immediately i could change myself for that also i can quote one example here my son is staying at uh, atlanta in pursuing his phd and here i also feel very happy to say that even though i have gone through all this uh, my son has been um, selected for uh, some um, um, uh, scholarship he said amma i have been seeing you from so many years i know you do everything for us but whenever there is a argument related to me or sister you always feel bad i know it is not your mistake but you are not able to handle this situation so he said you have given me so much of education you have given me so much of uh, good things that i have learned from you i don't want a penny of yours i want to go to states to pursue the studies with my own hard work so he waited for 3 years uh, he applied for some scholarship the details and all which i may not know much he got this scholarship the entire amount for the travel the entire amount for the study at that university has been waived off has been waived off so we have not spent a money penny on him for that i am happy after going there also he um, while pursuing his ms his professor was very much impressed with him he said you are having such good knowledge such talent in you why you want to stop your studies with ms you go for research he immediately called me and told amma my professor is saying saying like this but this will require some more years i have to stay away from you but i want to stay with you only shall i go for phd or i stop with ms then i told see i have struggled i don't say i have struggled i have done my duty towards you as a responsible mother so i would only say that you decide you are at this juncture i don't know what is phd and all because i have not done you decide i have given you the required inputs in your life you decide which is priority for you and if you feel that after doing research you will be able to work in a larger order but right from the beginning i have tell, been telling him that yes you are going to there because you are saying that there are, there are no such uh, resources so i would like to go and learn something high and do but you should come back to india and serve the country only that i want i, I have been telling him he told yes then they he went for internship in an uh, industry there also all the uh, personnel got very uh, motivated or we can say inspired by him they said we will come forward to give the scholarship for phd you need not spend even a penny so uh, he again called me and told 
Amma previously was thinking how I should stay here because once again, I will need a lot of amount. If I am doing PhD, I will not be able to earn and all. Now, this offer has come to me. I'm very happy for all that you have given me. I'm very grateful to you, he told me. Then I also felt very happy. Here, why I'm telling all this is still always, whenever he calls me, he'll ask the first question is, are you okay? Is everything okay? Why he asked these questions? Now I am thinking. Previously, I never took it seriously. But now I am able to understand because he has seen all that what is happening in and around the house. He asked that question. But now, um, nowadays, whenever I say nowadays, after these morning sessions, I mean to say, whenever he is on a WhatsApp call, video WhatsApp call, I talk to him while washing the utensils only mostly in the morning time because uh, it is a daytime for us and night time for him. So he, he was very surprised to see that I was talking to him very normally when I was washing the utensils. The first question is asked, Amma, what is this? You are so happy. We are not frustrated. You are washing daily. You are talking to me while washing the utensils then he, everyone knows that I am undergoing these UHP sessions. Everyone, even my husband, my children, everyone knows. Then he told, Amma, UHP is working on me, on you. Laughingly only he said, and he said, Amma, I am happy to see that you are washing the utensils and still talking to me very happily. So I, I at that instant, I also really felt very happy. So these are some of the uh, deep samskars which I had I, without even knowing. But now after understanding, I'm able to correct some of these samskars. Might be there are some other samskars which I have not noticed it till now. But these two or three things which I have noticed, I'm able to correct them. I, I have not taken much time to correct them because now I have understood them. So I much effort is not required to required for these three samskars which I told just now. Might be in the coming uh, time I will be able to note some of the others also. All the examples which I have been quoting are only because of um, in my family. Um, then uh, what about the working atmosphere? I have been working for twenty five years in the polytechnic in the department of technical education. Uh, I don't have much of the um, disturbances when I, at my working place. Now also I'm trying to analyze what could be the reason. But the thing is, there the atmosphere is very conducive to me. As a person, I am a very hardworking. I am... You, uh, I um, I don't know whether I should use this word. I'm self-disciplined. I do my work. I'm very responsible. As a teacher, I am very passionate towards teaching. I love my students. As I always tell them, you are my children. Most of the time, when I am in the college, I'm not I'm away from my children, but you always will be there with me. So you are my children. I can also see the response that I get from the children is the three years, whatever small difficulty the students have, they come and openly telling tell to me. Sometimes the things that they share with me, I feel they are very silly also why these people are sharing. Then I think, yes, my son also does like that only. That is why these people are also doing like that. So yeah, we in the working a, a time limitation also. So please be my okay. time. Thank you. Okay, Baya. Okay, Baya. So I did. I don't feel much of the opposition, much of the problems uh, in my working atmosphere. Um, so I could not share much of the examples over there. Regarding the commitment, I would like to say that um, I'm very much interested to work for the larger order. Of course, after exploring myself to the maximum extent. I'm trying to explore myself by attending all these meetings and uh, doing the volunteering work. 
attending the FTPs whenever five to 10 minutes of time also I'm able to get. As a curriculum committee member in our uh, department of uh, technical education, I'm trying to bring awareness of the importance of UHV to all, especially through education. Uh, this year also there was a committee meeting. I tried to uh, tell to incorporate this UHV into the first year uh, syllabus at least so that it will be useful to us. But unfortunately, I could not succeed. But uh, for our curriculum, in, my, uh, in our electronics and communication branch, we could introduce this at the final year as some um, part of the subject only, not completely, but at least part of the subject. I'm also trying to um, conduct a face-to-face -face FDP in our institution for which the proposal has already been sent and we have received it from AICT also, the dates and all, but we are still trying because ours is a government institution, the funds and all, um, we have to get ratified it by the Commissioner of Technical Education. From my side, I am trying. Um, hope I will be able to succeed and able to conduct this face-to-face -face FDP in our institution so that most of this uh, faculty will get uh, acquainted with this. So with this, I would like to stop. I'm very thankful to all um, um, the co-explorers, Sharmila Didi and Sunil Bhaiya, who has given me this opportunity and more time also to share all my feelings. I'm very thankful and gratitude to all. Look forward to continue in this team. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you, Didi. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Chavundashi Didi, for this uh, exemplified sharing experience with your husband, your children, they were uh, exemplified with, through the steps of the exercises. Very nice. So we have a couple of hands raised. We will go to the questions very quickly. Ji, Chamudeshri Didi, very nice uh, salute to you. I heard you around 45 minutes. Didi, only one question I realized. You are saying that uh, you are you are not followed step number four uh, exercise two. I am not sensation. I am not. But seems Didi, or I, what is my observation? You are having very good control. Whenever you want to see, you are in sensation. You can. The example was you were just emotional, but suddenly you ask for the time, and uh, it means that you are having better control than me. That's all, Didi. Please, please explain this. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Baya. But uh, okay, uh, you might have understood the situation like that. I, what I feel is uh, uh, the sensation. I mean to say, I like to do. I am very, uh, basically, very enthusiastic person. Try to do things. This health problems, whatever are there, sometimes they stop me from doing. So I want to get out of that. And to get out out of that, that step always says you are there. You can do it. But so you are not in the sensation, but because of I don't know, I cannot clearly may not be able to clear your doubt. Uh, but uh, <laughs> okay, Didi, I thank you. Still, but, still but, but I think you are much ahead than us. What you though you are saying that I have wasted life and all, but I hope you have um, understood and you are going through really uh, real exploration, Didi. Thanks a lot. Thank huh? Okay, keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. That's thank all you. from my side. Thank you. I would like to ask one question, simple. Uh, regarding self-regulation part is concerned, uh, uh, what uh, sort of uh, changes we have made uh, before EHV and after EHV? Namaste, Vaya. Uh, 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 um, right from the, not now, uh, from the, uh, you can say the, uh, after 10 years of marriage, I uh, from that time onwards, I had a number of uh, health issues. The health issues used to matter sometimes. I'll, I always used to tell, see, I'm not feeling well. Whenever uh, I wanted to get away from things, I used to tell, I am not feeling well. But now, after going all these sessions, I felt that this is an excuse which I'm trying to give for myself. I should not do this. Yes, if I am able to do things, I have to do it. With that, I feel that I have improved a lot. 
even with my health issues also and um, morning especially morning sessions uh, because of the various health issues everyone used to suggest doctors used to suggest that it is better you uh, take rest and because of the medicine which i am taking also i was advised not to get up early uh, i don't know why as i have been telling to you i am more interested in this all these concepts so i have decided that i should get up in the morning to attend these morning sessions from 5:30 so i am able to see a lot of changes in my health i am able to do most of the things previously whenever i i used to tell i am not feeling well i am having this pain i am having that pain that is happening this is happening now i am not complaining all this so in that way i think i have improved by taking the self regulation also generally uh, generally we have some weakness uh, regarding temptation or some food or to uh, attracted towards the some food and to consume uh, a large quantity like that uh, in that sense uh, i am asking uh, do you have any uh, change in that uh, uh, your mode of uh, understanding or in that sense uh, to control your health bhaiya uh, right made that yeah bhai yeah, right from the beginning also i used to eat very less why why because uh, I, i can say that the thing the situation which i have faced uh, right from childhood to these days um after completing my diploma i started uh, working to support my father i i was morning i was doing my work and in the evening i was doing my btech so i just used to carry one or two to fin boxes and at that time when i pursued my btech there were no uh, tiffin centers there were no curry point so i had to carry only one box along with me and i have got habituated to eating in that way only and uh, so i don't have much temptations towards the various foods that are coming up sometimes my ch children also say amma we order you don't eat anything i don't i don't i don't know i don't have that feeling towards food so i am after these morning sessions i think i could not see much changes in that point of view bhaiya uh, practicing some few exercises or pranayama all those also bhaiya uh, as i have told i don't do all such type of uh, things i don't know why but because i as uh, i spend i spend most of the time with my children only i used to take okay. care of them guidance guidance was more important for me due to which i am able to see i think my uh, children there so i couldn't do all such type of things now might be in future i may do because i am going to have some more time thank uh, you bhaiya th thank you didi thank you very much thank you thank you bhaiya so uh, may i request shamla didi to give comments regarding chamun uh, didi is sharing shamla didi over to you thank ji you. namaste chamun desh didi namaste didi and i'm sharing um very expressive honest sincere and with lot of real life examples which i'm sure many of you know the co explorers could relate to and very sincerely i have put forward the situations at home in your relationships with your family members so the exploration is going very well i would say and as time goes you may find that the exploration becomes even deeper so right now you are exploring on the relationship part and it's going very well you have seen many changes you have described many changes also and the others would also see in you perhaps next time today there is not that much time but perhaps next time you may like the family members also to share as a family Um, you know, husband, children. Um, it would be nice to hear from them also, since now the whole family is aware of this. And 
as time goes, I think you will be able to see more and more of the steps in the exercise. Like, for instance, when we mention sanskars, basically right now we are looking at the behavioral change and talking. As time goes, you will see that it is the assumption behind the behavior. Before the behavior is the thought. And before the thought is the feeling. Before the feeling is the assumption. That assumption is essentially driving that behavior. So all of that will become more clear, I think, as time goes. It's quite early, but it is quite commendable and remarkable that you have been able to share so many examples of the change you have experienced in yourself and how your family members also have noticed this change. So all the very best to you. Regarding health issues, perhaps we can talk separately. You can contact me, um, message me, and we can discuss at some convenient time. So all the best to you for your onward journey also. Best wish. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. Thank you very much for the motivation you are giving to me. I look forward to uh, joining the next morning sessions also and try to explore myself and do for the larger order also. Thank you, Didi. Thank you very much. What Sharmila Didi has pointed out that you said in your sharing that you had a position to your husband uh, many times to observe. Okay. Yes. And now yes. it has changed. Okay. Yes. So yes. what is that uh, assumption behind uh, the opposition which you had earlier? And now whether that assumption has changed or what exactly is happening? That I want to say. Okay, Baya. Previous, uh, whenever there was an argument or discussion, I used to, I never looked at his point. I was only uh, trying to see that he was dominating me. He was shouting at me. So whatever the point he used to tell, I never used to think of also. Only that used to be in my mind. Because once he raises, starts raising his voice, I don't, I go into my thoughts and all. I don't even, uh, the words which he is uttering also, I don't try to hear. Now that when, after these, going through these uh, sessions and all, I have, I'm able to see that he is trying to convey something, but the way of conveying the things might be because of his samskars. He always put it in a louder voice. When he is not able to uh, convince the other person, like, because whenever he is saying something, I try to tell the things in an opposite direction. And because he is not able to put his things in a correct way, he starts raising his voice. Then the entire topic to which we were trying to discuss goes somewhere else. Did I they, see uh, only... Brief. Uh, this is time for the healing session, so please be very brief. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I only used to see his voice, Bhaiya. That is why I I don't know. I okay. used okay. to revolt. Okay. Thank, Thank you. I got it. Thank you, Thank you.